Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I've gotten this question a lot from women recently so I'm doing a video on this. So also <laughs> just something fun that I do. If you have a question on something or if you are curious about how this works and want a different viewpoint, want me to do a video on it, send me a message, send me an email, whatever that may be. I would be more than happy to do a video educating, giving you more information and oftentimes some great things that you can start right away. Um, just to help you better your own health with good information for the female body. Ooh, okay. Um, so when we talk about this, the HRT hormone replacement therapy, um, this also includes like the bioidentical hormones, all those other things. We, women want to know how does HRT affect my weight loss? How does HRT affect my metabolism? And I'm struggling with my weight around this. I thought this would help it. It's not. It only helped a little. Uh, what? Okay. So first off, to talk about HRT, this is just going to be for informational purposes. If you are really struggling, please go see a provider, someone that you know, like, and trust very, very key. Okay. But if you're wondering like, why is this a thing or what, what's the deal with this? Women go on a hormone replacement therapy and I'm not going to get into the details of, you know, what the things are with this. I mean, I think when they started a lot of these hormone replacement therapies, they're made from dried horse urine. Um, that's a real thing. Sorry. I'm like, Oh yeah. Yep. They make them from dried horse urine. So even the bioidentical ones where it's not from dried horse urine, um, that, you know, they're supposed to be better for the body or work better with your system. Okay. I have not personally been on HRT, so I can't speak to that. But what I can speak to is the hundreds of women that I work with that have been on HRT or are using it. Oftentimes women get recommended to try something like this or use something like this. And um, sometimes it's even something like progesterone cream or patch or whatever. And if you have not, you know, if you've done a Dutch test and you have that as a recommendation, yes. If you're being thrown this information just because they're not sure and they're kind of like, oh, well, this seems like a normal thing for women to do about your age, there you go. Get a Dutch test first. That will tell you the exact pathway and where this is going on. Because what I find for women is that the reason they get recommended to go on HRT is because they have something hormonally wrong with them. They're having a hormonal imbalance. They're having a struggle, right? Really bad hot flashes, really bad weight gain, all these, you know, bad symptoms that are associated with your hormones being out of whack, essentially. And instead of really working with the body and finding the upstream source and working with that, what happens is that the easy fast fix is, oh, we'll just do HRT. It's the same thing for women who are, if your period is all messed up and you're like, I, I don't know what's happening here with my period. It's all over the place. My cycle is all over the place. And they're like, oh, just go on a birth control. That doesn't fix the reason why it's messed up. It just is a medicated way and you're not actually having a cycle then, right? You're having a, medic a medicated um, a withdrawal bleed instead of an actual period when you're on birth control. So think of this sort of like the same thing in perimenopause and menopause. If you're having a lot of symptoms and issues, things like that, your body is overloaded with hormone. Your body has something going on with it, right? There's something wrong upstream. It's so easy and fast though to say, oh, here you go, take this thing and you might feel better for a little bit, but let me tell you, it's just a, you're muting what's going on. It doesn't fix it. So when you come off of the HRT, it can be not a fun time, we'll say. And that also doesn't mean that your body is functioning or working the way that it should. So women go on HRT because of they're having these symptoms and issues and stuff like that. The reason, the cause underneath it, what's the cause behind it? The cause behind it, whatever's upstream from that, that's causing that issue downstream, right? You have to fix what's upstream and get the body working better, functioning better. And then a lot of those other issues are, are better for you, right? Cause your body's working and functioning better. Yes. Um, so super fun. <laughs> 
So when we look at something like this, this is what I love to reference with women. When I talk to them, they're like, oh, I had all these bad hormone symptoms. Oh, but I'm on HRT. So it took care of the symptoms, but they're still struggling with their weight because the weight is still hormonally related and it still is involved with the upstream problem. So oftentimes I do recommend, hey, I know you're on HRT, but I'm gonna have you, um, I'm gonna have you, you know, uh, you know, go through this Dutch test. Let's find out what's going on here and let's really work with your body at the core issue and get it going. Right? So really, really interesting to look at this because this is so commonly and easily just thrown out there, just like birth control, instead of actually looking and studying the body physiology for women. So that is why I'm so passionate about working with women and actually talking about what's right for your physiology, what's right for your system, and tailoring and customizing the right program for you so you get the right results, so you stop struggling with it. Because you can take this and feel better but still not be able to lose the weight because it's hormonally related and your hormones are still messed up. So if you are not on my wait list for the 12-week challenge, I'm gonna put a link right here in the comments to get on the wait list. Um, there's a lot more info there, but this is what we do in the 12 week challenge. This is what we go through. This is a way more in depth, intense thing than just saying, Oh, go get something. And there you go. Because I mean, you can put this off and keep taking something like this and put it off for it. But at some point, you know, yeah. Right. I chatted with a woman who she started on, she is in her I think she just turned 52. This is last week. I chatted with a gal last week. Um, I chat, yeah, I chatted with a gal last week and she, what is Nancy saying? Can't take HRT cause she had cancer. Yeah, Nancy, right? So you have to do a lot of other health things around that. Um, Anita, I can't wait to work with you. Yay. Yes. You got your call set. Yes. Awesome. You're on the wait list. Yes. Yeah. Wait list has good stuff on it. Um, sorry, I got distracted by comments for a second. <laughs> this gal I chatted with, she's, yeah, she had just turned 52. She had been on birth control for over 30 years. And she's like, I'm terrified to go off. She's like, I'm pretty sure I'm in menopause. I just don't really know what's happening. I've been, she's almost like, yeah, so essentially you just kind of skipped right into there. I mean, they'll probably, if you go off of it, you have to be very specific. Um, you know, really work with your system for being on a, a birth control for that long. Holy cow. Ooh, right. It's really important. You listen to your body and you work with your body systems when you're, when you really want to solve issues. So a uh, question that I get a lot of the time, can I do the 12 week challenge if I'm on HRT? Absolutely. Right. I still work with the body. I still work with the system. Is that going to mess anything up? No. Right. We work around those issues. It's a little different angle that we have to work with. But moreover, a lot of women still have that weight. So we have to utilize specific metabolism and I don't like to call them just weight loss tactics, right? Working with the hormones that we can and the metabolism tactics to really make sure your body starts functioning better and your metabolism actually works. Again, going through perimenopause and menopause, I mean, women gain seven to 10 pounds on average. Yeah, at least, right? So no wonder why a lot of women struggle when they're on HRT and with weight. And sometimes they're like, oh, it should get better. Oh, it should get better. And it doesn't. That's where you need to utilize some of these other nutrition tactics for that body that you're living in now, because it's a new body, you need new nutrition tactics to really get the right result and the best result for you. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Um, other resources for you, of course, my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. I have a segment in here. Um, for perimenopause and menopause, I have a whole section called the seven bodies of Eve, different bodies you go through in your lifetime and how to address that. Um, and then I, um, and then I also have a podcast, the female health solution. And then my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy that you can subscribe to as well. So Nancy, I wish it was only seven to 10, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, that's like, at least this is the average was seven to 10 pounds of menopause. And this is like, you're still eating healthy, right? You didn't change your eating. You didn't change your exercise. Nothing else changed. You just went through menopause. Boom, seven to 10 pounds was the average for women. Yeah. Now, the other thing to think about with that weight change to keep in mind is that because your hormones shift and change in your body and you're living in that new body, your body is much more likely to use your muscle tissue for energy and store more fat tissue. 
So there's certain nutrition tactics to work around that. You gotta get enough protein to support that muscle tissue. You have to eat the right kind of carbs because your body burns carb differently at this point too. Really, really important that you're addressing these specific things. It's not that you can't eat a cupcake ever. It's not that you can't have a glass of wine. You can't eat your favorite foods. Absolutely you can, absolutely. As long as you're doing the right things around it and supporting your system in the right way, you can still eat the foods you love to eat. Krista, can you do the 12-week program with an IUD? Yes, you can. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely you can. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yes, Jacqueline. Yes, right? 63 grain, 25 pounds since 2010. Wow. Yep, postmenopause. Yep, that's exactly... That, <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about, right? Where it's like, what the heck is happening with me? I didn't do anything different, right? It's, yeah, it's the hormones. So you're not crazy. <laughs> this is a thing, right? And the really hard thing about this is that it's not talked about enough for women to really understand the different body you're living in and what it takes on a day-to-day -day basis to, to be there. That's why I have this group. I love running these groups because women get to connect. You get each other, right? <clears throat> so the other thing about going through the 12-week challenge and working with this and the one thing that I, I, I'm just gonna say is that it's a very different experience. It's not like going to a trainer. It's not like going to a nutritionist. I'm not a, new, I'm not a trainer, right? I, this is what I specialize in, this is what I do, this is what I exclusively work with. And because you're able to get this information, learn more about your body, go through these other things, it gives you a completely different path to go on. Now that path, is a very different path than what you've been done before. So your body goes through different things. Your body goes through a different journey and transition, which feels different. And there's mindset work that we do with that as well. The other thing about this is that, you know, if you're going to do anything to invest in your health, it really is important that you're picking something that you know you're gonna be able to keep the results from. I can't tell you how many times I work with a gal. Oftentimes there's women who have been, are in perimenopause or in menopause, and they're like, I've been going to this trainer, I've been doing this nutrition, I've been seeing this dietitian for a year, for two years, whatever. I, I, I'm, I'm not getting anywhere, I'm so frustrated, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not saying that that's not valuable to invest in yourself, absolutely invest in yourself. That's a big piece of it, investing in yourself and your health. Most, I mean, in today's world, oftentimes what we pay for for our own health comes out of our own pocket, right? But really make sure that if you're going to do something for your health, you're going to be able to keep your results. That's the one thing I love about the 12-week challenge. The investment that you make in your health, you get this information and you get these changes and you get to be in this new space with your body from here on out. So these are tactics that you'll use six months from now, a year from now, three years from now things that are gonna be valuable to you to keep getting and sustaining the right result for your body. This is not a, oh, oh, I'll help you lose those 10 pounds real quick, blah, blah, blah. No, that's, in my opinion, especially for the woman in menopause, that's terrible for you. That's actually gonna cause you to rebound more than anything else. It really, really is. So when you're looking at investing in your health, I really want you to sit with this and think about this. If you're gonna go through something, are you gonna, like, it's like buying a car. If you're gonna buy a car that's really, really cheap, but then every month you gotta take it in and put another $500 into the same car every month, how many, you know, and then, you, and then three years goes by and you're like, well, yeah, I got a big deal on this cheap car right up front, but I had to keep paying through the nose to keep it going, right? It would be a wiser investment to get a high quality car and pay more for it up front, right? That's what the 12 week challenge is. This is where stop, stop, you know, essentially wasting your money and energy and your time, which is so valuable on all of these things that are not meant for your system, that are not meant for the female body and not meant for your new body as it changes and what it needs. So, so some conversations I've had recently that I felt like I needed to share with you guys. Yes, okay. All right, if you guys have questions, please let me know. But that's what I got for you tonight. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And again, if you are not on the wait list, in the comments, get on the wait list. I can't wait to see you guys there. All right, have a great night.